Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel. Today I would like to show you a package for Laravel. I found this package on X. Uh, I following on X a uh, user called Made with Laravel and I found this DOM PDF uh, package for Laravel which will let you to create PDF from Blade files from basically from HTML. You can convert the HTML, you can convert the Blade file into a PDF which could be opened in a browser or downloaded to the user straight away. So as you can see if I go to this test user profile page I created this uh, show my invoice button here. So basically this is a Blade component. This is a Blade file written in HTML but as you can see we having the username from the database and we having the uh, email address from the database of course you can update every data here from the database and I have created two button down here one for show PDF in the browser and the second one is downloading this blade file basically in converted in PDF straight away onto the user's computer so let's just have a look show PDF basically this converting this uh, blade file into the PDF and you can check it on the brow in the browser and you can download it or if you click on the other button which is download PDF if you click on it as you can see it's our uh, downloading immediately this uh, PDF file and you can open it on your computer so basically it's creating it's generating the PDF from the blade file straight away and as you can see the data is saved on this PDF inside this PDF from the database from the authenticated user. Before we jump on the code please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. So first of all let's create a brand new Laravel project for this tutorial. So I will use the Laravel new command and the application name in my case is going to be invoicing app. So Laravel new invoicing app. Okay, now let's see the inside this newly created project and let's install Laravel Blaze for this time. Okay, now let's create a MySQL database for this project. Right, so that's created. Now let's install the dependencies. And let's open this project in the VS code. Let's open the terminal and let's uh, and do npm run dev and open one more terminal for the server. So php artisan serve and we can open now our uh, application on this address. So let's create a new user fake filler. So this is going to be our username and this is going to be our uh, email address. So register it and as you can see we are logged in and we are on the dashboard page. Now let's imagine a real application. It, the invoicing would be inside the profile menu. So if I click on my name let's go to the profile page and the invoicing and billing information would be sh should be somewhere here so let's create one more section for this invoicing uh, stuff so let's go to the profile dot inside the views folder profile.bay.php and let's create one more section for this invoicing let's delete this live wire component Invoice. Let's see if it works. Yeah, we have a new section for the invoice now. Okay, so let's imagine that our user would like to see their invoice here. So let's create a button. 
which will go to the invoice route. Show my invoice. Of course, this route does not exist, so we should, yeah, we should receive this error. Let's create this route. We go to the routes folder web.php. Let's create this route here. Okay, so basically it's gonna be a get route. We want if we visit the invoice route, it's gonna be a get get route, and we would like to create an invoice controller. And when the user visiting this route, we would like to show an invoice for the user. Of course, we want we want to protect this route with the authenticated middleware and we name this route invoice. So now let's create this invoice controller. Let's open up one more terminal and let's create this uh, invoice controller. Okay, so we have now invoice controller. Now we need to import this controller up here, otherwise we will receive an error. So let's just paste this uh, controller up here. So now if we, if the user clicks on this uh, button, let's make it like, uh, looks like a button. Order. Okay, so it's now more like a button. If we clicks on it, uh, of course, uh, this uh, invoice controller doesn't have a show invoice uh, method. So let's just create this show invoice uh, method inside the invoice controller. So let's go to the app folder, HTTP controllers, invoice controller, and let's create a public function, show invoice. And all we want to do here is returning a view. Called invoice. You can name it whatever you want. So we want to call it invoice. Now let's create this invoice view. If you go to the resources folder inside the views folder, let's create a new file called invoice dot blade dot php. So this is gonna be our invoice. Uh, for that I will use a already created uh, invoice template basically. So if you search for simple HTML invoice template, let's copy everything from here and paste it inside this file. And now let's have a look. If you check it, go back, click on it. We have this nicely designed, nicely uh, formatted invoice. Now let's just uh, replace this John Doe and this uh, John Doe example email with our logged in username and logged in user uh, email address. So let's go back to this invoice.blade.php and let's find the user's data. Here is John Doe. So let's print here the authenticated username. So this is our authenticated user. If I go back, this is our username. If I update it, test user, save. And if I check my invoice again, you can see it's updated on the invoice as well. Now let's replace this John Doe email with the authenticated username, uh, user uh, email. So email. And now if I hit refresh, we have this uh, 
uh, logged in user email address. So of course you can change everything here according your application. You can replace the prices, you can replace the items and all that stuff. You can replace this uh, image here, your logo and stuff like that. Now let's create two button on the button, one for uh, letting the user to open this basically because at the moment we are seeing a blade file, an HTML file. Now let's let the user to open this uh, invoice inside the browser as a PDF and the second button will be a button for download this invoice as a PDF. So we will converting this HTML display file into a PDF which can be opened in the browser or do downloaded to the computer straight away. For that we will use this uh, DOM PDF wrapper for Laravel. So if you search for this uh, GitHub repository you can install it by Composer require Laravel DOM PDF. Copy this command Now let's run this, right? All we need to do now, let's go back to the GitHub page. We will use this section. Now we need to use this class inside the invoice PDF uh, controller. So let's go to the invoice controller and import this class so we can use this PDF facade. And let's create two public functions first to open the PDF file inside the browser. Let's name it PDF in browser. And the second is uh, download. You can name these methods whatever you want. I name it PDF in browser and download PDF. Okay, if we go back to the uh, GitHub page, you can see here this two line. Just copy it. Copy and paste here. Copy and paste here. Okay, so we will creating a PDF. This PDF will be created from a view. We want to uh, use the invoice view we have created before. If you go to resources views folder, you can see we have this invoice.blade.php here. So this is what the source we want to create our PDF. We don't need the data. And we want to return a PDF but this one gonna be shown in a uh, in a browser, so we need to stream this PDF. So if you use this stream method on the PDF, then it will be open in the browser. And you can name your newly created PDF whatever you want. Let's call it browser invoice PDF. And the second one is the download PDF. Again, we want to use the same view. We want to create the PDF from this invoice view, which is inside the views folder invoice blade. We don't need data again. And we would like to download to the user's computer this PDF straight away. And we want to name it whatever you want. Downloaded invoice.pdf. Okay, now let's create two buttons to these uh, two methods. So if you go to the invoice, let's have a look this invoice. Uh, just down under the total, we would like to create two links, one for streaming inside the browser and the other one for downloading. So let's just do that quickly. If you scroll down, here is the total price. Under this table, we want to create two anchor tags. one for browser PDF show in browser and the second one will be I 
I have a browser. I have a typo here and download PDF. And it's going to be just a simple download PDF. Okay, we should see these two. Oh, yeah, we don't have any any routes for that so let's create it and of course they are need to be inside the quotes so now we should get an error that the route does not exist so let's create the route so basically this has to be connected inside the controller to this pdf in browser method and this route has to be connected the, with the invoice controller download PDF method. So let's just duplicate this line twice. One, two. And first we want to create this route. So this route, the name browse PDF. So this route should be go to the invoice controller but not to the show invoice, but to this PDF in browser method. And the second one, and the second one is, sorry, is uh, download PDF, uh, download PDF route. Let's name it the same. And we want to go to the invoice controller, download PDF method. Okay, now let's test this. Let's have a look. Okay, so if I hit refresh, we have a show PDF in browser and download PDF. Now let's check if we can see this PDF because at the moment, it, basically this is a blade file. And now, yeah, we have a PDF format now. We can download it from here and the name of this uh, file as you can see is a browser invoice now let's go back and click on the download and as you can see it's downloaded straight away as a downloaded invoice pdf and you can open it on your computer and here is your username and the email address as well from the database okay i hope you liked this tutorial if yes, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next tutorial.